The founder of BitMEX says that Bitcoin is about to crash. Well, actually, all of the crypto market is about to crash within the next couple of weeks. I'm going to get into why he says this, plus my opinion on this. You're going to want to hear it. But first, I got lots of economic data. All right. So we have Willy Woo, 10 days till the halving. He also says Bitcoin's annual supply growth drops from 1.7% to 0.85%. That beats gold's number from of 1.6% gold supply doubles every 44 years. Yes, you heard that right. It really does double. Why does it double? Well, first off, what did gold pretty much do over the 40, last 44 years? It's gone up tremendously. But you know what? doesn't go up tremendously bitcoin supply it doesn't there's 21 million bitcoin available that's all so no matter how much the price of bitcoin goes up bitcoin supply is always going to be the same at least the total supply of 21 million and guess what in 10 days from now we're the emission rate is going to have try that with gold not trying to bash the gold bugs, but if any gold bug can tell me out there how much gold is out there to the very ounce, I would love to hear that. Bet you can't though. Anyways, what happens when price of gold goes up? Miners start going out, digging up more gold. There's different ways or different, different technologies that miners use to get more gold. Let's move on to Mike Alfred. Now him and I, I think we think very alike, uh, especially in the macro scheme of Bitcoin. So he says, remember in October last year when Bitcoin was at $27,000? I remember. Uh, and Bitcoin proponents were saying Bitcoin could, couldn't go up because of macro. Oh, I love that term, macro. Uh, credit events, uh, M2 interest rates, geopolitics, and other assorted bear porn. I do, and I remember it because I loudly argued against it. Yes, me too. Remember how I was saying that it doesn't matter what the Federal Reserve says, it doesn't matter what inflation's at, it doesn't matter if interest rates are rising. Remember that? I mean, interest rates were rising during 15, during Bitcoin's rise from 15,500 to over $30,000. Those were during rising rates. It doesn't matter, they're gonna print and print. That is why the big smart money is out there ignoring all the fake economic data and buying Bitcoin because they know that there's going to be a crap ton of inflation. And your your a lot of your saviors, what is it, Michael Saylor? He says the same thing. That's what that's the whole reason why he backed MicroStrategy with Bitcoin, or at least put it in his reserves. All right, we also have the federal budget deficit totaling 1.1 trillion dollars in the first half of fiscal year. 2024. So what does that mean? It means they're coming up short on their budget uh, within the first half of this year. What does that mean? They're going to print so much freaking currency, guys. Doesn't matter. And this is, remember what I'm saying right here when I get into Arthur Hayes, all right, his, his reasoning for a crash. We also have $4.5 billion of outflows by DCG, uh, which is Barry Silbert's company. This is a parent company over Coindesk, Gemini, and so on, right? And uh, over the last 30 days, and it was, and still, Bitcoin is trading within 2% of all-time highs. Uh, and there was $300 million in grayscale outflows just yesterday. And guess what? The price rose pretty well. Right now, we're just over $70,000. I don't know why anybody would could possibly be bearish now, especially when the halving is 10 days away. All right, so let's go over to Arthur Hayes, who I think is short. Uh, BitMEX co-founder Arthur Hayes believes that the, a Bitcoin and crypto crash could happen within the next two weeks. And his reasoning, let me read this off, okay. This is from a website, Contr Contribune.com. According to Hayes, the period between April 15th and May 1st is looking particularly precarious for Bitcoin and crypto in general. Really? Why is that? Indeed, several factors are converging to reduce the liquidity of the U.S. dollar. Amongst others, the payment of taxes. Okay, so he thinks that people are going to take out money from Bitcoin to pay their taxes. They already had that chance back last year. Um, all right, so the continuation of the Federal Reserve's quantitative tightening, 
what tightening is he talking about? Like they're printing so much currency. I just went over a couple months ago of a spending bill that was another $1.2 trillion. He's talking about quantitative tightening? What's he talking about? And the increase in the balance sheet of the Treasury general account. This will lead to a decline in the currency. Adding to this, Bitcoin having scheduled for eight, April 20th, the scarcity of liquidity will become increasingly notable and will provoke a panic movement among crypto investors. This will cause the price of risky assets to plummet and Bitcoin price to collapse. This guy's full of crap. I think he's definitely short because first off, they're not tightening. I think most people have already sold already. As I've gone over before, even with all of those outflows from GBTC, Bitcoin price is like 2% from all time highs. You tell me what you think. I'll tell you on Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Sir Crypto Tips. I'm very vocal. Um, and if you want to check us out at learningcrypto.com, you will find out our trade alerts, what coins we are into, when we are buying, when we are selling, and so much more. Anyways, please like and subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.